Welcome to this instructional design walkthrough by Wichita State University. My name is Carolyn Spear Schmidt and I am the Senior Instructional Designer at Wichita State. This is presented for your information. If you have any questions at all, please contact the Instructional Design and Technology Office at Wichita State and we would be happy to help you. This is our online Spanish 1 course. It is the first course in our online Spanish sequence, which Wichita State students can take um, to satisfy their language requirements for their bachelor's degree. There are three courses in this sequence. As you can see, this course was built using the Blackboard LMS. However, the principles we followed in instructional design can be applied in most or all other LMS environments. Notice that we like to land on the announcements page and in this case we have a welcome announcement that is written and also presented as a video for um, students. This was created, this part was created by the instructor. So let's get started. First off you'll notice on the left we have a menu and our very second click after announcements is a start here link. This provides a clear guide for students and also helps with our QM compliance. So if we click on that, we get to the Start Here area. And the Start Here area is what you would expect uh, in terms of syllabus and schedule and other kinds of um, links about instructional policies and institutional policies. But also, because this course is a very rich and complex environment, we have a number of purpose-built videos uh, for these students particularly. And in fact, if we scroll down here, you'll see that some of these videos were created in this actual environment. So students could get a hang of the environment before they begin the course. We also included an introduction discussion link that is here. And the introduction discussion link takes you to the same place that you could get to if you click on the discussions link um, in the menu. But if we go down to the introductions discussion link, you'll see that it takes you to a standard Blackboard uh, discussion board and students can create their own thread and introduce themselves. So going back to the menu, now we go to content. After posting in the introduction discussion boards, students are asked to go to the course content area. As you can see from here, we organized our content in seven lessons. This organization allows the course to be offered in an eight-week or a 16-week format. Each lesson begins with a piece of purpose-built artwork. This was created by the uh, design team um, at Wichita State and also with some information about the content of the lesson so students know what to expect. If we go inside a lesson, you see here that within each lesson, students are given specific instructions, so this is here, with page numbers and assignment details. And we also have short skits put on by the Spanish department um, at Wichita State University. These are Wichita State professors and Wichita State sites. So these skits um, use the words and concepts that are used in the studied material for that lesson and they help to warm up the class a little bit and give it a sense of place. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one of these skits now. They're very short. Hola, Kendall. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Bien. Todo bien. Este es Enrique. Él es de España. Hola, Enrique. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Bien, gracias. Mucho gusto en conocerte. Encantado, igualmente. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo estás? Vamos a empezar. So as you can see, they do a lot to warm up the content and also give it a sense of place and help to contextualize what the students are going to learn. 
If we move down, we can see that there are a series of, of colorful links. Uh, each lesson is similar one to the next, so they will contain grammar videos, voice thread assignments. These are assignments students would create small videos themselves and upload. Assignments with a partner. These are synchronous assignments. Reading, writing, and listening assignments. Also something that people do um, often with a video upload. Pra practice exercises. There's tests. There's an asynchronous uh, interview with the professor for each lesson. So that's every two weeks during the 16-week semester or every one week if it were to be offered in the summer. And then fun extras. So every lesson is organized the same way. Now let's take a look specifically at one of the purpose-built assignments that we built for this class. So I'm going to click here on grammar videos and go to the alphabet assignment. El alfabeto. Vamos a ver unos detalles relacionados con el alfabeto. We'll see some details related to the alphabet. Elle, ñ. Letras que son parte del alfabeto en español, aunque che es c y h y elle es l más l. These letters are part of the alphabet in Spanish, even though CHE is C plus H and EGE is L plus L. ¡Vamos a pronunciarlas! Let's pronounce them. CHE Chico So as you can see, these are purpose-built for the course. Students get an opportunity to hear Spanish and also to practice it in their own home. Let's go back to lesson one. As you can see, most of these assignments are designed to be asynchronous. For the most part, at Wichita State, we encourage our instructors and designers to create classes which are asynchronous in nature. However, Communication is something that's done synchronously sometimes, so there are synchronous assignments as well. We have assignments with a partner here, and also assignments with the professor we'll look at in a moment. Partner assignments contain links to videos, much like the one that you just saw, that are purpose-built for this class with a Wichita State instructor talking. And then they contain a link to web conferencing software. Because this is in Blackboard, we have used Blackboard Collaborate, but any web conferencing program would work for this kind of assignment. Interviews with the professor are handled in much the same way. The only distinction here is that we provided a wiki so that there was an easy opportunity for sign up and then just a direct link to the um, conferencing software. There is no particular purpose-built assignment for the instructional interviews. Of course also we have tests. So if we take a look at the test link you will see that there are three kinds of tests in this course. There is a quiz for the students to prepare a test um, that this is very similar to the quiz but is more extensive, and then a listening portion to the quiz. So I want to show you the listening portion to the quiz because this is probably the thing that's the most different from something you might otherwise see. If we click on this link and go into the quiz, you can see that there is a YouTube video that the instructor has created so that students can practice listening. This is a timed test 
it will only allow for a few minutes and then it will close and submit itself. So students can listen, answer the questions, and submit, or listen, answer the questions, and if they run out of time, it will submit for itself. So these are built in YouTube as unlisted videos. So if we go back to content, finally we'll see this diversion section at the end. So let's go here. We noticed when we first piloted this course that in a 16-week semester, uh, students had low participation in the first few days of each new lesson. To draw them into the course during that time, we decided to provide what we have termed diversions for fun enrichment that will support the language learning indirectly and also make Spanish more fun. So let me give you an example. This is a video that we found on YouTube and we liked it so we incorporated it here and we are tracking use and if students do like it them also then we may put it in as part of the content later. Hola señorita Como te llamas? Me amo Mike, me amo Mike. So as you can see, we chose things that were pretty funny and also helped to support learning Spanish. So now let's go back to our menu and notice that we provide many other links, including a link to questions for the professor. This takes us to the discussion board question area here which they can also get to by going to the discussion directly using this link. Also, there is a text for this course. The text includes additional content and enrichment, and students can go to the text directly by clicking on that link and log in that way. In addition, we have an in-class email link, a place where students can see their grades, get help, get on-campus help, and go to a number of other places. We also have some hidden links here that you can see because we are in the instructor view that we have for the instructor's personal use. Thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to show you this course. We're very proud of it and its two companions in our online Spanish program. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you would like any information at all, please contact the Instructional Design Department at Wichita State University. We would be happy to help you.